Welcome back to Sparks of Joy Studio. This is Natalie, and I'm excited to share with you this week's Thrift Flips. For our first project, I have this wall planter set. There is one larger and one smaller um, in this set. And I'm going to start off by painting just the silver metal part and the grapes um, to cover that up. I'm going to be painting that with two coats of Endless Shore by Dixie Bell. You said it was the last time But you keep coming back to tell me Sorry that you take back All the things you said just to hurt me My love just went cold But I'm still burning My love just went cold now I'm going to grab some beautiful roses from this new IOD transfer set. This is called Lover of Flowers and I'm going to be placing them on both of the uh, floral pockets so that they can still be cohesive but look unique too. You are back once more like everything's the same I tried to build my walls up but you're taking them down I decided to add some of the text from the transfer set to the bronze part that was at the top of this planter. You said it was the last time that you keep coming back to show me. Sorry you have changed now, but it's the same old story. I love just went cold. For the second planter, I'm going to be placing the floral um, closer to the top of the planter and then there is a cute poem that I am placing underneath. So both of the planters will have that text on them just in different places and obviously different text. Once I finished those transfers, I sealed up both planters with Big Top by DIY. And here is a look at our finished project. For our next project, I found this adorable porcelain um, sack vase that I got for a dollar fifty. Um, it had it was two ninety two, and then it was half off. I started by painting the entire thing in cashmere by Fusion, but. Then I decided I wanted to go a different route. I was originally going to um, paint the bow in a metallic paint, but I wanted to keep it a little bit more matte, a little more, I don't know. I wanted it to be a little bit more subtle. So I decided to uh, mix up a different color paint, which you'll see in a minute. I created a custom blend of oakum and lamp white by Fusion, and I'm using this to cover the entire piece.
And now I'll be using Casement by Fusion to paint that ribbon on the sack. She held in her hand a ribbon of silk So lightly that it would be caught in a breeze She whispered words not meant to Because Fusion is an all-in-one paint, I am not going to be sealing this with anything. I did not add any transfers, so there's really no need to. So here is a look at the finished project. For our next project, I got this paper plate holder at Goodwill. I actually didn't even know what this was when I had thrifted it a while back um, and some one of my subscribers had mentioned it in one of the comments. So the first thing I'm going to do is sand down the entire piece because I'm going to be repainting it and I don't want any of those details to pop through. Once that's done, I'm going to be coming in with Paint Couture's Buttercream. This is the all-in-one paint by Paint Couture, and I'm going to be painting the entire piece in this color. Soaring in the wind, a ribbon of Now I'm taking these amazing transfers of vegetables. This is from Milo's Pages by IOD, and I'm going to be cutting it out and piecing it together so it fits on the front of this paper plate holder. Now that we have everything cut out and positioned, it is time to transfer it on. Once I finish transferring all of these pieces onto the piece, I am going to distress it back just slightly because I do want it to look a little bit more you know, vintage, a little more distressed, just to kind of make it more subtle. So I did complete that, it is not on camera, but now I'm coming in with an antiquing glaze by Fusion and I'm gonna be covering the entire piece and wiping back the excess.
And here's a look at our finished project. I'm so excited I know what this piece is now because I'm really all about the functional home decor. So it's nice to know this suits that purpose. This next project is this tissue box, which I will tell you, I see them at the thrift store all the time and I never would have thought to pick it up until I went through a span of about a week or two where um, the entire family rotated being sick and I could never find a tissue box because we pick them up, we grab them, we pull them in different places. So this tissue box is very heavy and I figured if I have it, in a spot that kind of goes with the decor, it will stay in one place. Um, let's see if that ends up working out for me. Um, anyway, I'm starting out by painting this uh, tissue box in a custom color of, oh, what did I use? French eggshell by Fusion and Lamp White. I mix those two together and I'm painting the entire piece. Once I've given that two coats of that custom color, I'm going to be taking this transfer from the Bricant transfer set and I'm going to be transferring it across our piece. I am taping it down on one side just because I want to make sure it stays in place while I'm transferring. Um, I didn't want to cut it up because I just, I don't know, I wanted it to stay as cohesive as possible and it wasn't that hard. With that tape down on one side, it stayed in place and it was very simple. Now I'm taking Cashmere by Fusion and I am painting just the borders of the box and the top of the box. However, I went in to do the second coat and accidentally started painting with Lamp White. So what you will see in the finished project is not this color, Cashmere, it is actually going to be Lamp White. It ended up working out fine because Lamp White was one of the colors that I used for the custom color I made, but it's just an error that happened because there were too many projects going at the same time. So um, here this is, and once this is sealed up with some polyacrylic uh, in a satin finish, you will be able to see the finished project. I didn't want to waste that paint, uh, that custom color that I made with for that tissue box. So I'm taking this amazing pot that I found. I really loved it. I just wanted to do something where I could, I guess, highlight or showcase the handle on it, which I thought was awesome. So I'm going to take that paint and paint only the pot and leave the handle as is. Um, this is the only thing I'm doing to this piece. It wasn't in my plan for today's projects, but I figured I might as well show you what I did with the rest of that paint. It's a great way to finish up another project and create something beautiful for your home. On her way to the mill, proud and all loud. For our last project, I had gotten this ottoman at the thrift store. It was originally $6.96, but I got it 25% off, so I got it for $5.22. Um, the 25% off that I get is because I am an educator, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, there is an educator discount. 
So I am starting by painting this with a crinoline by DIY. This is the project, if you saw a short that I posted a few weeks back, this is a pro the project that I was working on when my paintbrush um, ended up getting all over the piece and all over and all the bristles came out. So I am using the Little Dipper brush by uh, DIY. It's a DIY product and it is wonderful and no bristles came out of this brush. Years have passed and restless legs have settled. We're finally Once that was painted and sealed up, I um, took the Joie de Vose transfer set. It's another new release for the spring and I'm going to be cutting pieces of it to put around this ottoman. This sign is my favorite part of the entire transfer set, so I really wanted to make sure that I showcased that on this piece. So I'm actually gonna be using it on the front of the ottoman, so it is, I guess, the staple or the, the most important part, the eye catcher. Down is up, we've been at the top. We're finally This transfer set has so many unique parts to it. Um, some of the parts that I did not include are, there's a gorgeous bird. Um, there's also a lot of like oranges that are in the background of the pieces behind some of these roses and leaves. I did not want them in this piece uh, specifically. So I made sure that when I was cutting out parts of the transfer, I cut around the oranges. Like I wanted them not displayed in this piece only because I didn't think it would really be cohesive with what I ended up doing with the trim. So now I'm taking Metallic Bronze by Fusion and I'm going to be painting all of the trim and the feet on this ottoman. I actually also painted the inside of the box in the same color. Once everything was complete and dried, I did end up sealing up the entire project with some clear wax. Here's a look at our final project. I hope you enjoyed this as well as all the other projects today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I look forward to seeing you very soon.